Hey guys, Lorenzo here from Cinecom.net and with all that superhero craze going on right now we decided to go back to the basics and show you guys how to fly like Superman. We're going to build a green screen where we can record ourselves flying, use Unreal Engine to make a super realistic city as a backplate and bring all of that back into After Effects to add some flying effects. And now, follow me and fly along! We're struggling way too much with this green screen. I don't have the physical capacity for that. Before we can actually start shooting with the effect, we need to have the footage of the city where Jordi or Superman will be flying in. If you want, you can just make the whole city yourself, or you can take the easy route like we did and just download the Matrix Awakens project from the Unreal Marketplace, completely for free. And as you can see, it looks amazing, it's a huge city and it looks beautiful. Now, once the project is open, we can create a virtual camera to actor. And with this camera, we can simply animate it going through the city between buildings, however you want. It could be while animating that you know Notice you have some performance issues with this project and that's completely normal since it's extremely heavy. A big tip I can give you to increase your performance is to decrease the mass spawners and the engine scalability. Luckily we can just run everything on the max settings since MSI sent us our latest creator Z17. These laptops have the latest processors up to the CPU i9 12 generation which is crucial for content creators since there's a lot of creator software which highly relies on the processor performance. They make use of the hybrid architecture meaning it has speed cores for big heavy tasks and e-course for your everyday task, basically optimizing your workload. And on top of that, it also has the latest NVIDIA RTX 3080 graphics card. The Creator Z17 is the NVIDIA Studio laptop which uses AI to reduce tedious tasks, supercharge apps, boost your performance and basically gives you more time to do what you love. It can render and edit 8K HDR video and build tremendous 3D models smoothly. When you're running big projects, you know when you're working on a laptop, it gets very hot very fast. And luckily, the Creator Z17 has the exclusive cooler boost technology. And with your 90 watt hour battery life, I don't need to connect any cables, I can just sit in the studio and work. And when you do need to charge it, it has the Thunderbolt 4, which supports speedy charging. This is too much power for one person. Don't worry, it's power that I can handle. Because it comes with the latest Wi-Fi 6E connection, I'm currently opening up the Unreal Engine project from the server through the Wi-Fi. It goes blazing fast. We've got an MSI through pixel display, which has a Quad HD resolution, and it covers 100% of the DCI-P3 color profile, which is super great for color grading. It's been pre -quali It's been pre -quali -quali It's been pre-calibrated in a factory, and we're looking here at a 16 by 10 ratio, giving you a little bit more space, much more comfortable to do your VFX editing and all with. Now, it's not a beautiful display it also supports pen touch which is not only useful for inside illustration or something but it's also just very nice to navigate around inside unreal engine so all in all the creator z17 is a great workstation laptop in a beautiful cnc aluminum design so definitely check it out guys there's a link in the description down below for more information let me tell you what you're gonna need for this effect right here of course we need a green screen then we need some bar stools like these right here and our talent is gonna lay on them then we need another green screen to cover up the bar stools so we can easily key them out in post-production. Then a very important aspect is that you shoot in a high shutter speed. This way we will have less motion blur and the green key will go a lot easier. Now something else very important is that you shoot from a higher angle. You can use a tripod for this or a gimbal. Now one very important thing is that you recreate the light from your unreal scene with a real life scene. On set we can use the laptop to time the sun coming in and going out, creating shadows and creating light. And this means we only have to recreate one light, the sunlight. Now last, use your leaf blower to create wind and you can start your acting. We have our green screen shot and we have our Unreal Engine city render. So now it's of course time to combine them both. But of course we first have to green key our talent. Place the talent shot into a composition and use the key light effect to single out the talent. If there's any trouble with the key you can always use rotoscoping to help you out or you can combine them both to get the best result. Next we can sync both clips. For this we can use the sync point if you have one or you can use your light cue to sync everything. Now once both clips are synced perfectly let's 
color match them. This you can simply do by using the Lumetri effect. And look at that, we are already flying, but let's finish it off with a super cool air trail behind our talent. And first, let's start with a small trail behind the hand. And for this we of course are going to use a particle system. We'll be using Particular from Red Giant, but the native particle system from After Effects, such as Particle World, will also work great. The reason we use Particular from Red Giant is because they have awesome presets, which we can easily modify. And for this effect we chose the Rising Smoke 2 preset. Now in the pop-up window we have all these controls which we can adjust to create our trails. The first setting we will adjust are the motion effects. Here we decrease the Z drift a whole bunch making the smoke come towards the screen. Then we use the Y drift to position our stream in the correct height. Try to aim the stream towards the bottom part of the screen and in an angle going away from the talent. The field settings we don't need so we turn them off. And now we can use the emitter settings to add more particles, the motion settings to give the stream less spread, the size and rotation settings for fine tuning the size and of course the opacity to make them more see through. Then we just have to hit apply and now we have this cool airstream. However, it's super stationary and doesn't follow our hand. So let's do a simple position track of our talent's hand and once done add the tracking data to a null object. And let's go to the effects controls of our airstream. Here we alt clicked on the position of the emitter and with the pick whip tool we parented the emitter to the position of the null object. And if done correctly Correctly, we now have this moving airstream. Super cool! Oh yeah! Super cool! Now create as much airstreams as you want with the same principles we just explained. We did something like this right here. Now to finish it off we also added a small displacement behind our super talent. This we easily did with an adjustment layer just above our Unreal Engine render clip. And on this adjustment we will add a displacement effect. Again we are using the displacement from Red Giant, but if you don't have Red Giant you can use the native one. We then use our airstreams as the source for our displacement and and crank up the displacement a little bit. Just a little bit. And guess what? That's all there is to it. Hey guys, that was a nice flight. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new today. Thank you MSI for their support. Definitely check out the Creator Z17. It's an amazing workstation laptop. Link in the description down below. And as always, stay creative. Now, check out the video here on my left for more, and I'll see you guys next week.